and Sister Tina to our session. Jeff and family were in for a surprise as the grandfather who passed before they were born came through with messages that let them know that he knows what's going on in their lives. He also gave them the gift of bringing through just the people they all wanted to hear from. The first thing I'm going to tell you is I've got a male figure that's coming through that I would see as being like father. So I have an older male that's coming through. I need to acknowledge that there's a connection to January. So I feel like there's either a birthday or an anniversary in January. I feel like there's either now pending right now as we speak, something that I would see as being going to court, legal papers, court stuff. But there's legalities all around from, from what they're showing me. And they're making me feel like this is something that is going to or has it's mounting. There's like a mounting feeling. So if they're talking about a past thing, then what they're talking about is something that I felt started small and then just spiraled almost out of control. This is coming from the older male that I would see as being the father figure. Is there an older male figure connected to you that I would see as being like father who's passed? Um, to my husband. That's a, but so it would be your father-in-law? Yes. That's a father to me. Connected to him, I don't know if he's the gentleman who had cancer, but there's a connection to cancer that comes up in that family. Do you understand that? Yes. He's also making me feel that he's got the dog with him. There's a reference to the dog, and he makes me feel like it's one of three that he wants me to acknowledge, but he's acknowledging the dog. He's also making me feel like he has either the A connection to him or there's an A connection to the family, but he's putting a big A in front of this, and he's making me feel like I need to acknowledge. Is his wife still here? Because he's acknowledging a female figure that I would see living. So there's got to be a female figure living to him that I would see as being his sister, his wife. Um, but it's, it's the woman who is severely diabetic, severely, like like really, really bad, like needed insulin every single day. He was diabetic, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. He was, he was, he diabetic. was diabetic. Like really bad? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like needed Sorry, insulin every day? Yes. Okay. So then, does he mean his wife's with him? Yes. There's got to be an A connection to that family then. Um, so there's got to be yes. like his, the A. His, okay. his wife. She's the A. Um, Amada. Her okay. name's Amada. That, okay, so that's just me misinterpreting this. Do you know if she passed before him? No. Okay. I want you to know that he was met by a woman. He was met by a female that went before him that I do not feel like was his mother. So I feel like this has to be either his sister, his cousin. His son's still here? His son is still living? Who's the N? Who has, like, the N name? They're, they're telling me to acknowledge, like, either Nicole, Nicholas. There's got to be an N. There's a, there's a Nicholas. Directly connected to him. Who would be Nicholas to him? A great-grandson? Living. Are there twins in that family? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's making me feel... Were you happy to hear from him? Like, were you hoping to hear from him? Yes. Okay. He's making me feel like he's stepping forward, which lets me know that you're hoping to hear from him. By the way, somebody's birthday is now, because I'm seeing a happy birthday. So it's got to be a white flower, happy birthday in the family. So somebody's birthday either just passed, or it's happening, like, today, tomorrow. But there's, like, a birthday right around now, because he's telling me to acknowledge this. And you guys said that he actually passed from diabetes? Yeah. But he's making me feel like he had to have congestive heart failure in addition with this because somebody fills up with fluids because I feel like I, they can't breathe. Okay. He's also making me feel like somebody didn't see him before he passes. So I don't know if he was in a different state or if there was a connection where somebody had to come from a different state. But there's an issue about that. He's making me feel like we have to let that go. Okay. Now, you, you said that this was not your dad, but he's coming across to me like he is. So I don't know if you had a good relationship with him, but let me just say this. I want you to know that he's coming across as father to me, and he's making me feel like I need to announce the baby. So I don't know if somebody's now pregnant or somebody had the baby when he sees the family changing. He's also making me feel like somebody changed his name. So what I mean by that is, like, they didn't stick with his name. And I don't mean, like, somebody got married and, and, and changed the name. I mean, somebody, like, gave up his name, changed his name. They did it, like, they uh, came up with a different version of it. But I feel like we changed the name in, in some way, okay? Now, I'm telling you, there's a birthday in July. There's got to be a birthday oh, in July. Yeah, there was a birthday. Okay. Because they're telling me, happy birthday, and it's around me now. So there's, like, oh, happy birthday right around now. Is mom still here? Yes. Okay. There's a running joke, according to this man, that either your mom cannot drive or that there's an issue about transportation and getting around. <laughs> but I feel like it's a running joke. So I don't know if this is an ongoing thing in the family, like yeah. avoid her. A couple of us can't drive. But there's like a running joke that I feel like it has to do with, you know, connected to this woman with the birthday. Now, I'm going to tell you that somebody lost their child because he's letting me know that there's a younger energy that is there as well. So I don't know if somebody miscarried, but there's an energy of a child that is there as well, because she's letting me know if the child is there. Somebody had a recently just, somebody passed in the last four years, because they're telling me to acknowledge that we're either coming up on the fourth, it's going to be four years, but I feel like somebody just recently passes. Now, this gentleman, who I'm going to refer to as the grandfather, the father figure, is making me feel like that energy is there, okay? And I need to bring this up. And I also want to talk about 
I'm going back and it might be a separate dog, but he wants me to acknowledge the dog that had, it's gotta be a female dog because I feel like it's, it's a dog that had either like gynecological cancer or had tumors lower in the body. But I feel like I need to acknowledge that dog like running in fields, like, like open, open fields, <laughs> like in a big, big way. I knew and I'm, it. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm also, does he go by the name Louis? Does he go by Louis? No. Who's the, no. Lu who's the Louis or the Louis? Or the L name? Connected to the man? My mother-in-law's name is Louise, but that's Lu not connected. Is she to still that. here? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know if she has the child who's also passed? She has had a child that has passed, yes. Okay. So the father figure that you're connected to would be your grandfather? This man is your grandfather? The man we were talking about earlier is my grandfather. He's your grandfather. Mm -hmm. He wants me to acknowledge Louise's family. Okay. He wants me to acknowledge that the child that Louise, or the Lewis, I was getting Lewis, lost is also connected to family on the other side. And I'm also supposed to tell you that there's somebody who passes in a, in a car accident or somebody who passes yeah. in an impact. Oh. Somebody passes when I would see as being like a vehicle related thing because I'm seeing a car. So there's got to be something, which is weird though, because normally I get a car accident as an impact where I feel it. I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm seeing it. Like I'm seeing it as like they died in a car. That's weird. Like, it's like a vehicle thing, which I can't explain, but I know that there's a J or a G connection that is going to come up in, in, in relationship to that. Right. Can you explain that? Yeah, the, my college, one of my college roommates. Wait, uh, but hold it before you say that. It's got to be male. Male. Last day, if he's college, hello. Unless he went to a very liberal college. I wish. Um, <laughs> Wasn't lucky enough to go to that school. But, but there's going to be a J or a G connection to that. That's like, right. Either he's going to be Jack, he's going to be James. There's going to be a J connection that comes up with that. That's right. And I really feel like this is a man who um, is still the man like I still feel like he's got a very dominant energy in your family like what has been the foundation that he might have laid in his family still stands and people can still resonate with a lot of who he was and basically still is in some respects and I feel like it's important that you guys share that this reading continues but first here's what Jeff Timmons and his family had to say about their messages so far father figure is my father-in-law and my children's grandfather who they never met because they, uh, he passed before any of my children were born. I didn't know my father-in-law for very long, but the time that I did know him, I was very close to him. According to this man, that either your mom cannot drive. We were just having a joke. My sister just got married, and we, we had a big joke at the wedding about how none of us can drive, so that might be one of the things he was talking about. CBS Friday, the original supermodel. Before the break, you saw me connect Jeff Timmons of the group 98 Degrees with the grandfather that neither he nor his siblings had ever met. Fortunately, Jeff's mom was there to help with validations because this family patriarch had much more to say. But he's very excited to be able to do this. I don't know how he was in life, but he's making me feel like this is not something that would go against his grain in life. I feel like this is an open man. This is a man who had very strong beliefs, a very strong faith. He might have been a little sarcastic or might have been a little stodgy in some ways, but I feel like it's important that the family knows that he came through. Now, his son is still here. I need to acknowledge that, but I also want to acknowledge the F. There's got to be an F or a PH name, like either Frank or Francis. There's got to be an F or a PH name that he wants me to bring up. And he's making me feel like the 17th is significant in your family. Now, he's making me feel like I need to acknowledge the person that passed in the last four because he wants me to bring this up and he's making me feel like now that's not the college roommate that we're talking about that's somebody that's that's different this person that passes in the last four feels like again it's got to be a contemporary to somebody that's here so it's got to be what I would see as being their brother their sister their friend it's got to be a connection on that level can you and there's got to be a Syria K around this as well so can you explain that Jeez. yeah okay because to me it's got to be connected like this but he, he, he explains that there's question marks around how the person pass the passing the question marks are about the relationship connected to the passing where's the Chris or the Kristen who got the CRK connection the CRK is on the past yes yeah. well no there's both the CRK that's passed is a contemporary to who uh, all of them. Yeah, all of them. just tell I don't know what the relationship is friend. a friend it's a friend of the family yes. okay a smart ass friend sometimes kind of yeah yeah <laughs> but fun yes. great okay there's a very dominant female energy attached to that. And I want to talk about where, where you guys, do you guys live like apart from each other, but still together? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
but not under the same roof, but in the same place. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I, I need to bring up what's on the wall photo-wise or on the wall creatively painted, something that would have a connection to one of these people that would be like a validation of their presence still in your lives. The C or K that is connected as a friend, I don't know if this was somebody that you guys were more connected to um, or spent more time with, but I feel like I want to connect on that level because I'm seeing pink roses. When I see pink roses, that's their way of expressing their love, so I want to I wanna bring that out and put that there. And I'm also feeling that there's got to be a reference to the piano or there's got to be a reference to the keyboard. <laughs>